Hi guys, welcome back to Get A Brood. So today I'm in the warehouse and I just want to cover bottling solutions. So you've got your beer made and you're ready to package it and you've decided that you want to put it in bottles. So we have a number of solutions that we feel can make that helpful. Say your budget's tight and you just want something really simple. A simple beer bottle brush. You take your, your beer bottle obviously your sterilizing solution and put, the, put the, the brush into the bottle and making sure that it's plunged in and out several times to make sure that the bottle's really clean because it's important in brewing that everything's clean. Now we keep saying this time and time again about cleanliness but in packaging there's no point in going to all the hassle of making the beer and then cutting corners when it comes to packaging so these bottling solutions are here to make your life a little bit simpler so we've looked at the bottling brush. When it comes to cleaning the bottles for packaging your beer it needs to be sanitized not just clean we have a few products that we feel that can help you so there's a whole wide range of cleaning products available on the website so we have a vwp cleaner sterilizer we have the five star chemicals range this is one of the products from that called star sand and then we've also got the chemi pro range as well so there's a vast amount of solutions for this or you may want to use uh, you know baby sterilizing tablets or create your own sterilizing mixture it doesn't matter what product you use what matters is is that it's sanitized uh, and suitable for packaging so i'm very quickly going to run through the different options available so we have an uh, a venator deluxe rinser so basically what we're doing here is we're taking um, a little bit of sterilizing solution so say we take a little bit of the chemi pro obviously paying attention to dosage rates and that there so you're putting a little bit of the sterilizing solution into the venator rinser you're topping that up with some water so the water's going in there you've created your sterilizing solution and this little device is spring mounted so just take your bottles one at a time and just a couple of really good pumps ensuring that the water spraying up into the top of the bottle allowing the contact time to take place you can see that this is a high foaming product the, the expression don't fear the foam it's a no rinse sterilizer it won't cause them any harm and then we have solutions for placing those bottles on so bottle trees come in different sizes um, 50 and 80 it depends how many bottles you want to put on the tree at a time so just set the bottle on onto the tree like that it's designed that it rinses down the bottle and catches in the bottom the easy drainer is simply that the bottles are stacked into the the racks and then the racks can be stacked one on top of the other with the tray on the bottom so the venator is the deluxe version we have an eco version for those that are a little bit more um, budget conscious great little piece of kit again works in the exact same way just a little drop of sterilizer doesn't matter what brand you choose again a little bit of water so you've got your water in there you've created your bath you get your bottles exact same um, design as this only just a more economical production method so ensuring that the sterilizing solution is spraying up into the bottle to ensure that the whole inside of the bottle is getting sterilized and allowing that to drip off and popping that onto your bottle tree or your easy drainer so the reason I'm doing this little video is just to, to make life that little bit simpler so maybe you just want to create your own sanitizing solution and do it in the kitchen sink and do them one bottle at a time with a bottle brush or maybe you want to speed that process up a little bit get an eco rinser or, or a deluxe rinser bottle tree or easy drainer these products are there to make your life easier they're on the website in the bottling solutions section under homebrewing equipment we hope that you find it a bit easier and thanks so much for watching.